Hey, good night, everyone. Again, it is Dr. Clark, and I am hoping that you all are having a great Monday. Um, again, I would like to thank everyone who have been watching my past videos, who have been sharing it, who have been sharing my page. Thank you so much because, again, that you don't know who may need this information. You don't know who this could touch to make a positive impact in their life. And at the end of the day, that's all I'm trying to do. So again, please, please, please share this video, share these videos with your family, your friends, whoever, just share it on your social media. Um, Cause again, you don't, you just never know who you will touch with this information. Now, tonight I want to talk about forgiveness on this Monday. Um, this is something that is close to me or, or dear to me because I had to go through a process of myself of forgiving people and letting things go that I felt like I, I realized that I held on for way too long. And it, I held on to it and it did me no good. So please, 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 you need to forgive. Now, forgiveness is not necessarily for the other person, all right? Even if they never apologize to you. It's not for them, it's for you. Because when you don't forgive, when you hold on to what something one have done to you, you keep that with you. And if let's say you walk into the store, Walmart, wherever, and you see that person, you get angry, you get bitter, and it, whatever happened between you and that person, it seemed like it just happened. It seemed like it's brand new. And that's because you have not let it go. Now you are going to have to find a way to forgive them for whatever it is that they have done. And I'm not only talking about strangers. Some people are holding grudges against their own family members, their mom, their dad, their brother, their sister, their aunt, their uncle, their grandparents. You need to let that go. Because yes, they may have done something to you in the past that you didn't like or that hurt you or that caused damage to you. And yes, they may not have apologized and probably sometimes they may never apologize or unfortunately they may have passed on and you never got that apology. So what are you going to hold on to a grudge to a person who's no longer living and that is affecting your living life? So now you're existing and not living your life because you can't forgive? No, you need to find a way to let it go and make peace with what they have done because letting go of it, forgiving them for it is only going to help you. When you hold on to negative things in your heart, over time, it's going to interrupt what you're trying to come into. It's going to interrupt of what you're trying to accomplish because you have all this negativity, all this muck inside of you. And you need to clean it out. You need to get rid of it because that's the only way you're going to be truly successful. Yeah, you may attain some level of success, but you won't be able to get into that level that you're trying to reach. So again, I'm asking you guys, please, 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 you need to let it go. At the end of the day, it's not worth it. Right now, I know people who have held on to grudges for a very long time. And holding on to that grudge, it only made them really bitter against a person. And when you ask them, sometimes you, I, I've even asked a person, okay, do you even know why you are mad at this person? And the answer is, well, I don't even really remember. If you really don't even really remember, you definitely need to let it go because what? It was never that important to even begin with. So you need to forgive that person, let go of that anger that you have towards them, and just be at peace with yourself. Because at the end of the day, they're not affected by you being angry at them. They're not affected by you not forgiving them. You're the one that's affected. It's ruining your peace. And at the end of the day, there is no amount of money in this world that could replace your peace. So again, please forgive. And again, thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. You guys have a blessed night.